This is my 40 gallon breeder. It's a community tank. It houses my absolute favorite schooling fish, which is the rummy nose tetra. I mean, seriously, it has a Rudolph the red nosed reindeer nose and a flag on its tail. How can you not like this fish? Seriously, how can you not? Gorgeous, gorgeous schooling fish. Gorgeous fish. Also have some Pristilla tetras. Pristilla tetras. I got them because of the yellow and they were locally bred. Not sure who did it, but my LFS had a big sign that says locally bred. And they told me the guy took a look at their imported Pristillas and said, good Lord, I can do better. And brought these in and I brought the whole, I bought the amount of the colony that was left. So I must have bought 12 fish. And they're all in here. I like them as well. I think they're pretty. Uh, and they're interesting in that you kind of see through them too. So you see organs and their spine, um, which is interesting. If you're into fish anatomy and the, the like. Um, I also have some uh, old pork chop rasboras. I forget their actual Latin name, sorry. They were some of the first schooling fish that I got, along with, there's one silver tip tetra in the back, and there is one sorpe tetra left. Here he is. And the oldest fish is probably, I probably got those that two schools at the same time. Um, they are two of the oldest fish left in the fish room. So they're not quite two years old yet because I haven't been, April will be my anniversary for two years keeping fish. Yes, I fell way down the rabbit hole. I blame YouTube and Corey from Aquarium Co-op. Anyway, this is Scar. The only reason I know it's Scar is from the other side, there's a, a line on going from his pectoral fin to his dorsal fin. Yes, no, maybe. I get the fins mixed up, the one on the top to the one on the bottom. Yeah, I should learn fish anatomy better. And I can tell that he's the one that was really hurt and had a lot of fish die in this tank. It's been probably six, eight months ago now. And he was the only one I found that was still alive. But he had this huge gash straight up the side of his body. And you know, it had fur on it and all this other nasty stuff. But I just wanted one fish to live. So, I took him out and I nursed him for a month with every antibiotic on demand and anti-fungal and anti-anything I could find. And he made it. And he is the last serpate standing. Um, so yeah, and I'm always glad it's Scar. And this is my, the Emperor Tetras. I saw them on Rachel O'Leary's channel and I was like, oh my God, I have to have them. They came from Aquatic Arts, um, and they're just beautiful. If you can maybe catch the coloration, not sure how well a cell phone camera will do. The light hits them just right, and that line is just this gorgeous purple, and it reflects this amazing iridescent sort of royal blue. They're beautiful fish. Um, so yeah, they're probably my second favorite schooling fish. <coughs> This tank is also filled with my Corydoras. It's a mixture of albinos, salt and peppers, and something else I don't remember. Ooh, here come my Crabenzas. There's my girl. She's got that purple in her belly and he's all fired up. They're gonna spawn again. They've spawned successfully twice already. And because they're wanting to spawn again, their their previous babies are in hide mode because they get pretty territorial. They just haven't figured out where exactly they want to spawn. She keeps moving back and forth from about three different caves. Her two favorite at the moment are the coconut, but I think I would have thought the one directly behind the coconut would be the winner because the java moss has grown over the top and hides the hidey hole better, but you never know with women. We can be picky. That's one of her juveniles on top, eating in the moss. And right now it's pretty tame, but once they really get going, 
they will get all these schooling fish really schooling around like crazy and probably over in one corner of the tank. But, um, anyway, yeah, there's the other type of corridor that I can't remember. It's got a rusty color on it. There's a lot of Corys. I sometimes get them mixed up. And these are my snails doing, you know, what snails do. You can also see some more of the Carbenzas in here. But I love this tank. It's right by my couch, literally right by my couch. So I look at it every night. Probably leave the light on too long. My sword needs a little bit of love. It needs a root tab, but I bought some from the coop. And my Anubius, I'm hoping this one won't die. It looks like it's got a new leaf coming in. I've had Anubius rod in several tanks. And I'm sure if it's catching, I have inoculated the other tanks. These have gotten the holes in them, but they also look like they're growing new leaves. So there's hope that they won't die out. Also, I have one of my favorite plants in the world, the Madagascar lace, because, oh my God, it's so beautiful. The lace pattern, love it. Um, and I love the crinum in the middle. I picked that up because Corey had it in his goldfish tank and I thought that is really cool. And it's done really well in here. And there's also some shrimp in here. You can, they're really big though. You can, so they've survived, but I don't know that they can breed in here because there's too many things to pick them off. Um, but they're the bigger like Sakura shrimp or a, a mono shrimp. They're just huge. They're here on the Anubius leaf in the back. You can kind of see a couple of them. That'll be bigger than the fry. <laughs> but that's why they're alive in here. There's some hidey holes that they might can get into for their babies to grow up, but baby fish can get there too. And it's just like, you know, live shrimp for baby fish to eat. So anyway, I'll stop rambling, but I just love this tank. It's nothing special, really. Um, and to all those people who say Java fern will grow anywhere, no, it will not. No matter what I've done, oh, there's some shrimp in it, eating away. And they've been photobombed by a tetra. There they are. You can see them on the wood now and on the leaves. There it is. And snails. I have snails. Um, I can't get it to grow here. It, even its babies, its babies do better, but not that much better. Uh, the, they get to a certain size and the leaves go, dear God, what's happening? Get me out of this tank. And they just immediately go into... I'm gonna die mode and kick out a bunch of distressed babies and we try again. But yeah, you can see my shrimp on the top of the log and on the, the java fern. Anyway, I'll stop in the hopes that it's less than nine minutes I can actually upload it. All right guys, thanks for watching this far. If you are, um, have a wonderful day and I'll catch you on the next one.